In this problem, we want to find the amount of work done by friction in stopping a sliding box. Friction would be considered a constant force, or one that does not change over time. And work is a scalar quantity that equals the product of force times distance. Work will be given a positive and a negative sign. This sign does not indicate the direction as it is in chapters 2, 3, and 4. Instead, it tells whether work is being added to the system or taken out of the system. If the force is applied in the same direction as the displacement, then the work is being added to the system and the work is positive. If the force is in the opposite direction from the displacement, the work is being done on the system and the sign for the work is negative. In this problem, the force of friction is opposite the displacement, so work is a negative value. The first thing we want to do is draw a free body diagram of the situation. This will help us see the forces acting on the box. Notice that the force F is pulling or pushing the box, work is added to the system, and friction will be taking it away. In order to find out how much work friction is doing, we must find the magnitude of the force. We need to solve for the weight. We did not call the weight W in this problem because the symbol for work is W. Instead, the weight is being labeled as MG. This will be commonly used to represent weight for the problems dealing with work. This will help eliminate confusion among the variables. The weight is 49 Newton. Our ultimate goal is to find the work done by friction. We are going to need to find FK and the distance D. First, we will find FK. To do this, we need the normal force. We use Newton's second law equation in the y direction to solve for the normal force. Substitute in our variables, input our values, and find the normal force. Now we can plug this value into our friction equation. And along with the coefficient of friction, we can find the force of friction acting on the box. The box moves a distance of 10 meters. We plug in both of our variables and find the work done by friction on the box. Our answer is negative because friction is in the opposite direction of the displacement.